Hello Pisces! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of September 2018 Masculine versus the Feminine Energy Read. Thank you for those of you who have followed me from the beginning. Thank you for your likes, shares, your donations, and your personal readings. Uh, thank you for those of you who have clarified for me that these have indeed been your personal readings in just a general reading. It helps for me to continue to stay tapped into uh, the energies uh, that Spirit is trying to help to guide you. All right, um, I'm starting out with just one card from the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild. And I am... Asking Spirit to please provide Pisces with an overall message to represent the second half and the energies available to Pisces during the second half of September 2018. Dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, overall message. Okay, so the card that you guys have received, Pisces, is number 36. 3 plus 6 to me is 9. 9 is about endings. It's an ending for a lot of Pisces when it comes to a... It's like it was an inner struggle that happened to Pisces through an outer person who was a bit of a temptation, um, but Pisces had been down this road before. Pisces knew what to watch for as far as the warning signs go. When I look at this card, the Cosmic Butterfly, I am drawn to the energies by which Pisces in the past was contemplating a new path, a new direction. But I also feel like through this process of wanting a new direction, a new person, a new situation or circumstance, they were also very much reborn. They came to the realization that they were a bit bored, maybe even mischievous, and when kind words, messages, gifts, flowers, and attention came their way from someone who it was uh, either very supportive or financially secure, it caused for Pisces to want to take a risk in some way. Now, by mid-September 2018, right about now, I think Pisces, ma masculine and feminine, are reviewing what had transpired, where they are now, and they're seeing things from a different perspective. They're seeing that af as they took time to research a situation, as they didn't jump quickly towards something that was very tempting. They have found that they um, they were in connection to a karmic connection. The, the person that had tempted them was actually a part of their spiritual growth. They want badly to go into the direction of this overbearing, loving, caring, supportive, maybe, or financially abundant and secure person because of their status, because of what they have to offer financially. Uh, but in the end, by the end of September 2018, I am feeling as though Pisces is getting on the other side. They're coming out of the cloudiness. They're coming out of maybe even their own confusion and they're starting to understand why they had to go through this process. Now this process for some Pisces could have taken six, seven years, maybe even eight. And by the end of September 2018, they are thankfully sweeping away from what now has become more of a burden. So I'm going to read a little bit from the book to give credit to the author, Alana Fairchild, and to clarify the messages we have discussed. If your life feels like it's falling apart, then take heart, Pisces, for it is falling apart to come back together in a whole new way. 
you are going through a rebirth just like a butterfly in a chrysalis. The agony and the delight, the sense of dying and being truly alive can all be held in the serene space of your heart. Surrender into what you are becoming now and know that what you are leaving behind is but a shell that once will have held your fast emerging new self. There wells in me a knowing and a wonder for what is yet to be. I feel like because Pisces is so in touch, especially throughout this year, uh, they recognize this rebirth. They recognize that it is a time to stop themselves before repeating an old cycle or pattern. Now, before the video to save a little time, I pulled a card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed And Pisces received number three. With the energies of the Spirit Whisperer, know that Spirit was here with you all along, helping for you to make the right decisions. There was and is now for this Pisces energy a higher knowing. As an ally, the Spirit Whisperer comes to you, heralding the miraculous and the inspired. She whispers guidance from the divine through your highest senses so that you can hear her wisdom and know her love for you. She is committed to helping you intuit the next right action and steers you away from trouble. As a challenger, she warns you, some of you, not all of you, who may still be tempted in the second half of September 2018, that you are about to go astray and that you need her guidance. Red flags are waving. Okay, so for the, the Pisces that didn't realize the red flags in the past, Spirit saying uh, more clarity is set to come in the second half of September 2018. So I'm going to do two side by side Celtic spreads, one to represent the more masculine side of ourselves, Pisces, and the more feminine side, meaning if you're walking too much in the, which probably needs to be done, the grounded side, uh, you're more in the masculine of getting and taking control of your life and doing what needs to be done day to day, still opening your heart to love, but not getting lost too much in the fantasy part of your feminine side. Pisces. So let's go ahead with masculine, please, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels. Yeah, so we have a masculine Pisces energy who was wanting to sneak away towards another, even if someone got hurt in the process. This masculine energy um, was smart enough to drag their feet and wait until they had a better perspective. I feel like they were smart enough as well with the Seven of Wands to think things through before stepping into a direction by which they did not have clarity. With the Moon card energies in the foundation, Spirit was trying to communicate with the masculine, telling you that it was indeed time to get to the truth of a situation and that the truth was going to take some time to come. Still into the next third or fourth week of September 2018, um, Spirit is telling the masculine Pisces energy that you have control over bringing an end to this desire to continue to put energy into someone who was taking too long to step forward. Spiritual advice is speaking of a feminine earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Yes. The masculine in their hopes and fears position for the second half of September 2018 will still, by the third or fourth week of September, remain in the position of the Two of Swords because they don't have enough decision, enough information to make a decision, because they know it may not be right to make this decision. 
and in the outcome they're finding themselves back to the position of cloudiness of confusion of frustration now the feminine energy she was running away at one point she was opening her heart wide up to another but she chose to stop and listen to her intuition amen and at some point realized that the situation is not secure enough therefore she turned away from it maybe not completely but in her mind the feminine Pisces energies was fine in the position by which she currently was living therefore she couldn't quite understand if it was worth moving forward into the manifestation of a new beginning a new direction a new opportunity by which she could create she was trying to bring something to an end and I think in the next couple few weeks she's going to be celebrating the fact that she used the strength card energies to hold off on making any decisions spiritual advice is telling Pisces that the gift they will receive for pushing beyond this temptation is the ten of pentacles financial abundance security contentment and joy in the feminine hopes and fears position she is recognizing that there was a lot of fantasy there and she's fearing that someone could come back and put her in that mindset once again and somebody may Pisces in the third or fourth week of September somebody may grab your attention once again making you want to apply the Empress energies making you want to create a more abundant path ahead but the warning here is is if someone has just come and go, gone over a period of time and nothing has evolved it is time to leave that path behind and enjoy the fulfillment of your day-to-day -day life somebody was definitely tempted here and really contemplated stepping into the passion uh, uh, the direction of passion and lust the person that was tempting them I feel both masculine and feminine collective energies will again be tested in the third or fourth week of September 2018 but you guys are strong enough now right to pay attention to the cautionary energies of this communication so for clarification I'm bringing in the wisdom of the hit uh, house of night deck by PC cast and Colette Baron Reed yes right off the bat spirit is wanting to clarify and confirm that what has been manifested is a very complicated situation but it was indeed a test it was a test for the collective Pisces energies to get back to the, the energies of self-worth great self-worth able to give themselves a pat on the back for making the right decisions in their thoughts position the collective Pisces energies has the high priestess of water who's going to help you guys when it comes to your emotions when it comes to love and in your foundation Pisces again you have the strength to push beyond that which was very attractive and tempting in the past now in the next so we'll say the third or fourth week of September 2018 spiritual advice as a test comes back is cautioning you of what it is that you're summoning into your path remember everything that has transpired transpired because we allowed for it and everything tied to it to come into our path and there will come a situation where you're going to be tempted 
once again before the end of September 2018. But you guys have control, Pisces, over recognizing the chaotic energies for what they are. Spiritual advice is to stop and recognize old cycles and patterns that need to be broken. Spirit saying, as you recognize old cycles and patterns and you stop them in their tracks and you start to do something completely differently than you may have in the past, that is why they're sending the High Priestess of Water to help you stand strong when it comes to love, when it comes to your emotions. In your hopes and fears position, you have the energies of letting go. Somebody may want to summon someone into their path and they may be fearing that they have to let go. But remember, you have the strength and the self-worth because of how far you've come in this process of letting go of something that was very tempting and yet very complicated. In the outcome position, Pisces collectively, you need to understand that you are not trapped in this situation, that you have maybe kept yourself trapped in some way. We've got this little bird here sticking out its chest, trying to act strong in the path of temptation, but the door in the back is wide open. You can free yourself, Pisces, from old cycles and patterns. You can free yourself from attempting chaotic energy. So the second half of September, Spiritual guidance says, is the time to take an oath to yourself to only allow goodness and happiness and positive fulfillment into your path. There's a doorway here that Pisces may want so badly to go into, but it is blocked by a cement wall in order to protect you with the forbidden energies. You are in the path by which you currently belong. And it is now time to put those passionate energies into creative projects, into what true fulfillment means to you in your life. All right, so to close for Pisces for the second half of September 2018, I'm going to pull one card from the, uh, the Daily Guidance from your angel's deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. Closing message for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Pisces. Spiritual advice is saying now is the time to focus on service. Not so much on receiving as you should be on giving, helping, providing helping others, giving to charity. Whatever this will mean to you, look for energies and opportunities, I mean, to, um, by which you can help others. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and all that you do. If love comes to tempt you, Spirit is saying, now is the time to focus on a creative project, hobby, gift, talent, or skill. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity in your life, Pisces. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your own life. Now may be a good time for Pisces to think about a talent, a hobby, a gift or a skill and how they can share that with others. When it comes to single Pisces, know that through your prayers, love will come according to divine timing. This indeed is just a test. 
Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at my email address, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I also have a link below for donations in order for me to continue to be able to translate these messages for you. Thank you for those of you who have. Take care and God bless.